93.9 FM, and it is officially Girl Talk Time here on the freshest wave of glory to hit your radio. Glory 93.9 FM, three minutes gone by the four o'clock hour. We got started just a little bit late, but listen, how you do? How you doing? How y'all doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Listen, it's your girl Marisha and join A. Karate. <laughs> and we are absolutely excited, elated, flabbergasted. Just cannot wait for today's conversation. We're happy to be with you here today. And we take a moment today to rejoice in this day that the Lord has made. It's one of the things that I have been intentional about. Because sometimes, you know, when you get up in the morning, it could be a little rough. It could be a little rough sometimes. It could be a little difficult. We could find ourselves sometimes in a posture of ingratitude because of everything that's happening around us, because of the situations and circumstances of life. We could find ourselves just being so caught up with what's in the front of our faces, with what we see, and being moved by what we see. But today we are being reminded, listen, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The book of Genesis tells us that everything he made was good. There was absolutely nothing that he made that was bad. And so this day, every day we wake up is good. And everything that he has prepared for us is good. The Bible says that if you who are evil know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father not give you the Holy Ghost? How much more will he not give you the helper, the the paraclete, the individual that you need, the sustenance that you need, the blessing that you need, the desires of your heart that he's given you, the open doors, the, the rivers in the desert, the water in your dry land, okay. how much more will he not give you the good thing, the good thing that the Bible says he would not withhold from you who, up, who walk upright before him. And so listen, this ain't a deep one today. This one is pretty simple. And it's this. Today is the day. This is. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Yes, I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad. Mm-mm. And be glad. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Mm, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made and it's a good day yes, it is. it's a good day to be alive it's a great day to be excited it's a good day even though it's four o'clock in the afternoon to expect the unexpected to believe god for something ridiculous and something miraculous i don't know what you ladies are believing god for me i'm holding on to the word that he's written releasing in our house and i believe god for vindication he's going to vindicate me oh. the things that I said that I shared and I believed God for and those things have yet to manifest and it's the plan of the enemy for me to be put to shame. I believe God's going to vindicate his word. I believe he's going to vindicate me. I'm excited to see the recompense and the restoration to come back to my life because he said it. So I don't know what it is that you're believing God for. I don't know what that good thing is, but know that it's good. And if you believe it, it's yours. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Hey, Clarice. Hey, Monique. Hey, Donnelly. Listen, like and share the show. Like and share the show. Like and share the show. One more time. Like and share the show. We need you to like and share the show. And we're going to dive right into today's topic. Unless you ladies have anything you want to say, share. How y'all doing? Y'all want to tell the people what y'all believe in God for? I don't know. What y'all saying? <laughs> Remember to comment, like, and share. How are you going first? If you're in I the was, room. I don't 
I'm just ready for the topic. Uh, if, if you're in the room, let us know you're in the room. If you're watching, let us know you're watching. Y'all is plenty of y'all is tell us y'all is be watching the show, right? But don't comment. But y'all is don't say nothing. Like how we So to when know? we see y'all in public and y'all is be like, girl, I watch the show all the time. I be like, but I never see your name pop up in the comments though. Not What's even, up with that? Not even a hello. You don't even say like hi. Oh, so someone messaged me last week and was like, they wanted to say something so bad, but they wanted to do it anonymously. Oh, uh, okay. You have my number. <laughs> if you have my number, you could send your anonymous question or comment. Yeah, our yeah. phone lines are going to be up next week. We have to get new phone line numbers. Um, and so those, those are going to be up next week. Well, those are going to be up next show. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Because next week, Monday, is a holiday. And y'all going to be <laughs> holiday in. Holiday in. And so will we. <laughs> so, <laughs> so next show. Next show for sure, um, the the phones will be up. All right, so y'all just ready to dive into today's topic. Y'all ain't got nothing to say, nothing to add, nothing to subtract. I'm, I'm just excited about today's topic. Mm-hmm. I am excited as well, but um, some things that you touch on, Marisha, I think are very, 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 very relevant for the season that the body is in. Mm. Um, when I was on my way here, I was thinking about a message that I preached. I guess God reminded me of it. Mm -hmm. And the topic was faith that precedes my reality. And your reality can say one thing, Mm -hmm. but your faith has to go into your future to really, really get build up that expectation of what God of what God will do and what he promised you that he would do. I heard the song by James Fortune. I just get him and JGR as I mix up all the time. <laughs> right? James Watchin, and it talks about their future me. Uh, and the, the, the beginning of the song, it says, Will I Smile Again? Mm-hmm. Um, it was just really talking about his current reality, and he was speaking to his future self, saying, listen, I will, like it. Will, 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 will this situation that I'm in yeah. change? Oh, I do something, May. No, I, I stretch my hands towards it so I could stop. <laughs> I pray in. Sorry. She pray in for the camera. Uh, yeah. That's fine. Um, but... That's, that's something that I that I I know that God was trying to get to me, and he was the songwriter basically was talking about his future self, and this is the rebuke in the song that said, um, "Oh God, what you mean?" Something, something, <laughs> yeah, you gotta sing through it. All right, um, uh, my future is calling. Um, I can't stay here no more. I can't stay here no more. So it means that the state that we're in. The situation that we find ourselves in, we can no longer stay there. God was, and it was a rebuke to me. Like, listen, you've been in this spot for too long. You, you, you. This, this, this brook has dried up. I need you to move. I need you to get moving now. And I That's need good. you to speak into your future. I need you to not even just speak. I need you to see because he was talking about. He was talking to himself in the future, trying to see himself in the future. What um um contradicted his reality. So my future is healing, but I'm currently sick. Mm. My future says deliverance, but I'm, 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 I, have, I have things that I'm struggling, struggling with. Mm-hmm. My future says oh, you will be this and you will be that, and mm-hmm. my current state speaks nothing to it. So my encouragement, along with what you said, this is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, mm-hmm. we are to rejoice and be glad in it, but don't forget that don't, don't allow the comparisons of what you see happening in someone else's life to, 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 rob, to you. rob you of your joy. Comparison, joy. like we it's always a, say, it's a thief of joy. Yeah. And I begin to do that. I say, God, man, this seemed like this is easy for this person. And this seemed like this is easy for this person. But you seem like you're giving me a hard time. And he said, listen, listen, you, you look like you're missing it. Comparison mm. is a thief of joy. Mm. And there's another scripture, and I'll share it later in the show because I can't remember it right now. But um, there's another scripture that he gave me that I think <clears throat> would really encourage us because a lot of times as women, we come here and we have on all the colors and we you know, have this beautiful s- smile on our faces when the reality is, God, we need you to move in our situations right now, not yesterday, not tomorrow, right now. And God is saying, listen, I want you to be silent. I want you to wait on me. I want you to believe. And while you wait, I want you to serve. While you uh, wait on my promise, I want you to begin to declare and prophesy over your life that things will change so it what you said basically was what was going on in my mind Mm -hmm. and it just serves as a confirmation that god is about to do it for his people and don't think that because we have and this is something that i had to break my mind out of don't think that because we came here for one particular topic that god can't speak to someone else concerning something something else the last show we talked about 
feminine men. And I shared something earlier in the show. And a few persons messaged me like, listen, I have yet tuned into the show because that part of the show I actually needed. Glory to God. And we, we get so, we get so, I guess, used to and it becomes a part of our normal lives just to, okay, let's. And okay, let's. But God is trying to get something to all of us at many in many different areas of our lives. Mm, so that's my encouragement for today. I hope that you are well. I wish that my voice could be a little bit more energetic, but this is all that I have for right now <laughs> until I start cracking jokes. But God bless you. I'm glad to be here today. It is the day that the Lord has made. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's my 50 hundred. Did you say 50 hundred? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen and amen. So let's dive into today's topic. I am so like excited yet nervous. Very nervous, but this is going to be good. So today's topic, we are having a conversation about polygamy. Okay. Hashtag. God to jail. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We're having a conversation about polygamy. Now, um, while we used the term polygamy as the label for this conversation, um, because I know some of you are going to come on this call and get very um, technical with, with us and say that polygamy only applies to marriage. I understand that. That is a fact. Polygamy, the, 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 the label itself talks about marriage and doesn't necessarily talk about the things that happen outside the confines of marriage. But our use of this word today is wide. It's not narrow and it's not um, just about marriage, okay? So for those of you who is like, well, I know what polygamy means or whatever, let me just help you. Let's lay out this definition. Let's have this conversation and let's lay the foundation as to where we're beginning. So when we look at what polygamy is defined as, it's the practice or custom of having more than one wife or husband at a time. And... If we look at it from an animalistic perspective, it's a pattern of mating in which an animal has more than one mate. If we look at it from a plant perspective, it's the condition of bearing some flowers with stamens only, some with pistils only, and some with both on the same or different plants. It's the plants for me. <laughs> Honestly. The plants for me. Okay. The plants for me sound like polygamy oh, is honestly, very complicated. Honestly. Very, very complicated. Um, the definition further explains that polygamy is the practice of marrying multiple spouses. Okay. Um and that when a man is married to more than one wife at one time, sociologists call this polygony. When a woman is married to more than one husband at a time, it is yeah. called polyandry. Yeah. So let's lay the foundation of what we're talking about and add a third component to this. We are talking about Men with multiple wives. We are talking about men with multiple partners. We're talking about women with multiple husbands. Women with multiple partners. And we're also talking about something that I heard is getting a bit popular in this country, which is... I don't want to say... I want... I have to pronounce the word. You know, when you have to pronounce the word, and if you don't pronounce it right, you could say something else. Right. Polyg polygonandry. Polygonandry. Where people swing in with couples. Oh, okay. Group. Group. Okay. <sighs> togetherness. Okay. Where if, if I'm married to a man and we meet a couple, we exchange spouses. That's well. God says, yeah. I don't know. I know what God said, but okay. Go ahead. Preach. Go ahead. Okay? So I want to make sure that we understand what we're talking about. Like, what's at the foundation of this topic? So I'll go over it one more time. 
We're talking about inside and outside of marriage, males having more than one woman inside and outside of marriage, females having more than one man inside and outside of marriage, and then couples getting together with other couples and exchanging. Hashtag God's HL. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> that is at the foundation. Be 18 minutes um, in, hon. <laughs> it's so sorry. It be 18 minutes in. Y'all tell me started though. I asked before that we come on Cara. air. That was not I me. I said, who's starting? You were the first one to say, yep, it's you. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> and so, <laughs> here we are. I started. That's how I started. I started with definitions. I just defined in the thing. I ain't even saying nothing. I just is like, hey. Believe it or not, when persons reached out to me um, concerning this show, uh -huh. they were shocked that we have that in the Bahamas. What do you mean? Like, people is do that. Like, like a lot of persons, like, people is do that. Like, we used to do that over here. We We're, we's do it. It just ain't legal. Right. But, but it isn't a matter of it being legal or not. We were, people were literally, literally oblivious to the fact that this actually happens in our country. Now, one of the things that, that, that I would say led me to this was a conversation that I saw happening on social media mm. where um, this particular individual was saying now that women, this specific conversation, that women are becoming comfortable now this what, this knowing... A, this is Bahamian people? Bahamian people. Okay. Women are becoming comfortable now mm -hmm. with the knowledge of the other woman. Yeah. And they're not putting up a fuss or a fight about okay. it. They're not, oh, okay. no, I can't believe, blah, 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 blah. Okay. In fact, they sending you to the other woman right. when they won't get rid of you. Right. And vice versa. Mm. When, exactly. That's but, not no. But it's just now we've labeled it. We labeling it. Yeah. As polyamory, like Jody say. <laughs> what in the polyamory is going on here? Um, yeah, like no, we just we just given it a term. It's been happening since our great grandparents were sending their husbands on the island to go fish and make money, and we was in the mainland in Nassau, and we know great granddaddy had a family on the island and a family in Nassau. That's crazy. And if he went to multiple islands, if he was a police officer, or if he was a defense force officer, I don't like, that. or if he was an immigration officer. Wherever he went, he had a family. Wow. Which is the reason, Grammy them to this day, when you bring your little things, they this say, asks who, who your people Who they is. is. Exactly. Who they is. Who's your Grammy? Who's your great granddaddy? Where your mm -hmm. people from? Y'all from Andres? Which part of Andres? North or South? Y'all yeah. from Mangrove Key? Yeah. No, we can need to know it. Your last name no matter. Because mm. that could be your first cousin or your second cousin. No, we need to know what granddaddy them was doing. Wow. Granddaddy them messed up. Because mm. I, I, remember, I remember teasing back in high school. I would tease a friend of mine and I would say to her, I was like, you, you realize your mommy and your daddy really look alike, right? You know what? Like, I said this to her. I was like, your mommy and your daddy, like, like they look. Too early. They look 21, alike. 21 minutes in. They okay. look alike. And she used to say to me, she said, you know, people that say when you get married to somebody, when the longer you oh, stay yeah, around you start, them, to like you start to look alike. And I was like, how? Oh, we, don't, we don't get genetics by, by osmosis. We don't, <laughs> we don't get features by osmosis. I don't rub off on you and you rub off on me and then all of a sudden you're bongi big and mine flat. <laughs> no. No. It's really the flat bongi for me. No. Oh my God, you can lose me today. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't, I don't rub up against Kara now. All of a sudden, my skin dark and hers light. All of a sudden, so, honestly, mm. we make it, we make it burn sometimes. To lighten. We can, we can make it dark. But there's no way. I could sit in the sun and cook my skin. Some good foundation. And I would still never be Kara skin color. I've tried it though. D don't, listen, don't get me wrong. Y'all know in my mind, I'm chocolate brown. In my mind. 22 minutes in. Go for it, woman of God. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to remind brown. you of the minutes that we're in. <laughs> that deserves a slip. I am. I, listen to me. I chocolate brown. I don't care what y'all say. Okay. I am chocolate brown. I'm minister. Okay? Um, you can't tell me I'm chocolate brown. You can't tell me I can't hand car on my makeup and say, here, I use this for your concealer. This is powerful. <laughs> <laughs> okay? In my mind, I chocolate. For the rest of y'all who have a problem with my kind of chocolate, then that's your business. You just don't like the kind of chocolate I have. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. What I'm saying is, right? Ah, 
<sighs> they was doing things. That's basically the bottom line. They um, was doing things. Just what me and Daddy looked alike. Did just she ever figure me. out that they were related? No, they weren't related. They just the real the real reason, to be honest with you, the real reason they looked alike was because they were both like in that salt and pepper stage of life. And like that's what really like their features didn't look alike. But because Mommy was like salt and pepper hair and daddy was like salt and pepper and salt and pepper. It was just like y'all related. And then when you put the children there and the children like look like a mixture of them mm-hmm. and it's like, wait a minute, y'all look too much alike. But then when you put them two next to each other, it's like, okay. Y'all really don't look alike like that. But I still feel like y'all look alike. Okay. So no. Um they're not family, but it was just something that like I was made aware of at a very young age because like most people um, most Bahamians. I I had some siblings who I met like age 14, age 15, age 16. Mm. Like, and many of us have these stories. Many Bahamians have these stories that like you have members of your family who you met like long, way down the line. like way down the line. I remember when um, there was a death on my dad's side of the family. This death in particular I don't know what made it different from the deaths prior to this one, but this death in particular, I was able to meet my dad's sisters who were not my grandmother's children. Mm. So my dad had siblings that were uh, from other women, mm. but they were my grandfather's children. Mm-hmm. And I was able to, I was meeting these people and my daddy was like, these your aunties. And I was like, okay. Not daddy. All right. 24 minutes. Well, mommy, I'm going to used to call them uncle. So... You know, um, I met I met two of my sisters, um, one at the age of 14, and I met my other sister at the age of 16. And she's actually the one that I'm closest to now. Um, I met her at age 16. So before that, um, before the age, I knew she existed for a year before we actually met. So before the age of 15, I didn't even know she existed. Wow. Now, my sister, who I met at age 14... I knew she she existed from age six, but we didn't meet until I was 14 years old. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, my sister who I met at age 16, um, I only found out that she existed a year before I met her. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So these things are happening all around us because they... Um... So let's talk about that. Let's talk about... I just want to say though, mm-hmm. when I say mommy, that music all among us, I was generally speaking, I wasn't talking about my mommy. Because I could have sent, I didn't even, I I didn't sent even a that. slap. No, no. Oh, from your mommy. Oh, okay, oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, yeah. clarify that. Clarify <laughs> that, because we... Yeah, I wasn't talking about my mommy. I just was saying that we generally... We need mom to come on oh, this show. Yeah. We need that, because, you know, she'll be quick. I think she's in the operating room now. Ah, okay. Yeah. But we need her to watch back. She will. And be like, hey, 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 hey. Oh, she will. <laughs> um... So yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the the impact that this has had on our community and our society. Like, um, I think that there are some of us, I know I speak for the three of us in this room, in that like the idea of finding out that someone that we are with is seeing someone else is like, okay, no, we done, bye, Mm -hmm. deuces, right? Um, But for many women out there, they're like, okay. So what she's doing for him? Because if she can handle a lot, then I can handle everything else. Or if he could keep bringing the money and he just want to be over there, then sure. Just get your test every couple of weeks and we could be all right. I, I, really, I, I really would like to hear from someone that, not saying y'all are actively involved in that, but obviously there are people that agree with, with, with that lifestyle. What what is it? Cause I I just I can't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I old school. We could fight. <laughs> Cause God, you, you tell me, shit. You ain't old school. No, you're not old school. Cause old school say go Cause ahead. Cause old school say go ahead. Oh no, well I know school. <laughs> school. Whatever say. school I in, <laughs> we can have the fight. Thank I'm you, Holy sorry. Ghost. I like my own things. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I, I, y'all, y'all, please help me out here. Yeah. Help you with doing what? <laughs> Why? Why is it? And then, 
Well, let me, uh, let me, let let me let's, look at, let's look at the, the realness of this now. Okay. Because, you know, the reels on Facebook, mm -hmm. there are a lot of reels about this now. Yeah, absolutely. And it's different. Let's, let's just, let me put it like this. Mm -hmm. I think it's different than um, mindful sweet art and where you sweet art and and the woman really don't like it, but she ain't gonna say nothing about it because right, this is not that. This is no, there's all of us, all of us. Let's call it what it is. We go in the church together. Let's was, get real. There was a there was a story circulating that there was this this gentleman in the Bahamas in Nassau who had basically two women living together. This real. like this real living together. Okay. Sleeping in the same house. No, I just making sure I'm on the same page. Like, and they together, together. Like, then, like, okay, she, she, she live here, and she live there, and three, three days of the week I sleep here, and the next three days I sleep there, and then I sleep at my house one night when I just ain't want to be around nobody. This, this ain't, this was, that's not what this was. This was all the way under. All the way. One We're not family on. Oh, yes, what? <laughs> We're not family. Oh, Louis. Yes, like sister like wives. Like sister wives. Wow. Like sister wives. So I know how my two um, co hosts go, so I have to be the advocate today. So I don't even know what I blink for just now. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so let me be the advocate today. I Listen, let me put up the disclaimer now because. Once y'all hear me talking, y'all just make assumptions and I don't be into that. So let me, let me, let me put this up now. The thoughts, views, and comments expressed on this show are not those with the management staff or sponsors of Club 93.9 FM. Please be clear on that. Okay? We having a conversation and we're presenting multiple sides. Y'all stay with y'all feelings. Amen? Amen. Good. Now, back to what I was, I was saying when I said I was going to be the advocate. Um... So, let's say, you know, <laughs> I decided. I ain't going to put nobody else on there. Let's just say I decided. I'm married, and I find out that my husband is cheating on me. And let's just say I end that stage of marriage where he, he's annoying me. Like, the very breath that he inhales and exhales is just really annoying me why right now. Breathing? Like, why are you breathing? <laughs> like, don't breathe around me. Because let's not pretend like you don't why get you, to that, that point in marriage you, at times. You just you be like, it? could you breathe someplace <laughs> else, please? Ugh, could you smelling. exist in another sphere? This is funny. Uh, you know? And so let's say that I'm in that state in my marriage. How long have I been there? Let's say I've been there for like three days. Three days. I'm like, do it. Go breathe someplace else, please. And in this three day span, I find out that because I tell him to go breathe someplace else, he literally decided to breathe someplace else with somebody else. And then I take it upon myself to take a look at my situation. I look at my financial situation. Let's say we have two kids together, so I look at that. I consider the fact that he pays all the bills, that I could spend my own money on whatever I want to spend my money on, I ain't got to worry about nothing. He buy the car I driving. And now that I find out he cheating, you say I must leave him? Mm -mm. We going to have to be sister wives. But you are living in my house. Don't get it twisted. But I can send him to you. I can send him to you. I can be like, okay, honey. Today, yeah, go, go buy your woman today. Come back. Come back Saturday. I mean, I get some space. What is your question? I just saying this is this is my <laughs> scenario. I want I want to see the question here. Yeah. As we know the question, we know the punchline. This is my scenario. This is my scenario. I mean, what we think about this scenario? What say ye about my scenario? Um, go away. Let me breathe. Now, now, once or twice when you go, you gotta take the turn with you. Now, don't take the turn to the woman house, but you gotta take them with you. Gotta find somewhere for the turn to go. And then I could be, you know, sleeping. And then you don't got to be bothering me. I ain't got to roll over for nothing. Like, we good. I don't have to roll over. I ain't got to roll powerful. over. But how you, how you, what's the word I looking for? When you, you re something, what's the re, like, the leave and cleave, right? Uh-huh. How you, what's the word I looking for? I know. When you. Re? It's not with re? Yeah, it's not with re. Reconnect? 
No. Recalibrate. When you take something that was meant for a purpose and you use it recycle. for another purpose. No. You recycling oh. the leave and cleave. I see what you're saying. Are you recycling the leave and cleave? That leave and cleave for me. Because it's working for me. I mean, it ain't no stress. I mean, I don't have to so clean you up buy no, them all the time. You're talking about some, no, you, now, essentially you're talking about clean up and stuff, but really what you're talking about is survival. Yeah, like, babe, you want to go do that? Go do that. We can get tasks every two weeks. You gonna have to bring me a task before you walk in this house to say anything, girl, down so between me and you. With it. No, and oh, this what we could do. <laughs> Not only go situate. No, e -D -D -E -D -D this what we could do. E -D -D -E -D -D -E -D -D That's what we could do. Honestly, make sure the bills paid. Make sure. I understand you. You want to sound like, uh, uh. That's. I mean, I don't understand. It's just that I don't understand. I can't. I, it's so difficult to get, but I understand, nevertheless. Yes, but am. for this, I feel like, and I'm just sorry to turn the corner this quick. I feel like just Satan has managed to deceive the world in a way that things that we would not do before now becomes normal. But the bed of marriage under file, so I could bring whoever I want in the bed. But this person ain't in your house. This person ain't in your house, and that. I can't no. bring whoever I want in the bed. No. There no. are those who say Do that, I what I mean? There are those who I say mean to me. while God um God doesn't outrightly encourage it, it wasn't discouraged. Right. And like, I and I, I saw I saw that too with um Solomon and David right, and all like, their wives, et cetera, et cetera. Why you need three hundred and something? Why? I don't know how you manage that. <laughs> no, some of them never got touched. Had to like, be. No, some of them never got touched. Had because, to be. Because, see, in, 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 in Marisha's scenario, the lady just seems like she's tired. Like she's tired? I just said, sick of diet. But if that's the case, I, I, well, I feel two ways. I feel like in that lady's mind, she probably dealing with someone else too. Well. And she has already emotionally well. or mentally detached from well. the husband, one. <laughs> and then two, this, I feel like this... This lady could potentially well, um, well, no, not from Marisha's scenario. The other woman, uh huh, she could have somebody no, no, else no, no, too. No, 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 no. The scenario before that, when we before you brought this one up, uh -huh. where it was two women in the house and one uh -huh, man, uh -huh. it's, it's not really a matter of them exchanging him. It was all three of them together, where threesomes are now normal. Yes, in in a household, so yes. it wasn't. So women and men have taken on this concept, like yep. okay. Well, if he can have fun, then mm -hmm. the she can have fun, and we can have fun, and everybody and can have fun just, together. It's gonna be a blast. It's and then we have now nah, some called polyphosphorus or whatever they were talking about. Oh no, about. no. But polypalandry, poly, poly, what? Poly, poly is in <laughs> now the, in the, play. The next one, we are married couples. Yeah, and married couples. the grouping, the grouping. And it, and I see Rashad. If you're tired, then honestly, go. Don't no, but you your scenario say go, but pay. And yeah, take yeah. care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, when yeah, I yeah, when yeah, I need yeah, my yeah, top yeah. up, make sure when I straight. When I need my top up, give me my top up. That sounds like karate to me. <laughs> there, there are people who a lady on, I'm sorry, three o'clock in the morning after I finish praying and I can't go back to sleep. I just be on Facebook reels. Right. Y'all, you know, that's mm -hmm. just it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there was one woman and she has two living men. With her, mm -hmm. right? Two men. Two men. I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. Why are you getting happy? Sorry. <laughs> we say yeah. It's like she on cloud nine. <laughs> she on know. top of the world. Well, I was looking at the two men and they look so miserable. They are miserable. They looked miserable. You know why? Because there are two men living in the house with her, but really she calling the shots and she running the show. I know when you're really supposed to be calling no shots. I like it for her. Wow. So, so this is my point. We end up with folly phosphorus and folly and folly amonary, 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 and stuff like that. Right, because, okay, when you there see? is no intentional purpose in your relationship, these things, like, no, I'm not, no, I, I ain't judging nobody, I ain't saying, but if everybody happy, man, I ain't in your business. But if you have, one person out of the three, four people who in this, one person happy, and everybody just trying to keep up appearances, is, is a problem. 
What is the purpose? Well, I could see, I could see in that situation where you bring up where the woman had two men. I could see how that would benefit those two men and not like that woman ain't got to be in their ears all the time. I got people who can share. So, sir, today's your day. Let her be in your ears today. And when I tie it to her nagging, I mean like, and I, I try to escape to the rooftop. Hey, hey come, come, it's, it's really come, come get your woman. I, I for dealing with her today. Please, please, please come, come for your woman. The woman that we share up, can you please come for her? It's now is the time. But I, I, I now I is the time. Let me get some comments in it because I see some of y'all looking at me like I'm crazy. Joya says, I have a girlfriend who is in this situation willingly. Both her and the other lady get along very well. They all live in the same house and have separate rooms and have a schedule with their, in inverted comments, commas, boyfriend for the last, hold on, not one, not two, but three years. Uno, dos, tres. A, do, toi. <clears throat> Julianne says sickness and disease too real to be sharing man they want share disease Stephanie says that's crazy Julianne says living dangerously Keisha say lord <laughs> lord 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 Julianne says David sounded like he had no problems working through the list absolutely not King running the shots <laughs> like Rashad says, if you are tired, then leave. Unless she cheating herself or he got plenty money and she right. ain't want to leave that bag. Right. That's and that's really exactly is. what I said, Rashad. Right. I that's said, what I said too. in my scenario, if he paying all the bills, he buy my car. Where I going? Where I going? Why should I leave? Give me a reason. So do you think, do you think it's a matter of our standards that have lowered? Absolutely. Well, I don't know if they were ever high. Because if our great, great grandparents was putting up with this, and those are the people, that, our great-great-grandparents produced our great-grandparents who produced our grandparents who produced our parents who produced us. It with me. They got to stop with me. I'm the curse breaker. So <laughs> there was, there no. was no, there was never a standard. Our, but our then, no, but then think, But then think about this. So this lady got this man and things seemed to be going well and they got to cheer in them and uh -huh. everything else. And everything seems to be fine. It seems to be like a, Everything, a, a cool. wholesome, yeah. a wholesome family. All and she felt like she well. picked right until wonderful until <laughs> until the rubber meet the road. And then which she is got, what I don't know. She got annoyed, or she saw his true colors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and now she feels like she's too deep in. So why gone? And because in order to start my life over now, I got to figure out. Okay, I was spending all my money on me. I never had to pay I a mean, bill. But like, me, me, I didn't have to buy no grocery. He was, worth he it was though? giving me money to buy. I mean, you, you ever had, didn't have no money? Yes. We just had this conversation last week. We said, we said money can't buy happiness. So people say. But well, fine, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the that's crazy. The people. And then see, and see, it's things like that. have money. That um, proves. That proves how Satan has deceived us. They good. But, because in, no, <laughs> you can't deceive it. <laughs> All right. Polly first, first, Jody. Polly. <laughs> Nathaniel says she tried to catch up. Michelle says, if those men are looking miserable, can you imagine us as women who are what? emotional beings? Because we, our head is like. But how are in the next room? This. How are you in the next room? You better get you some of them, them airports, and we are, Max. And, and we are on schedule. <laughs> <laughs> no, baby, we can fight. And then, and then, not, and then not only oh. that, that means that all of them are probably <laughs> seeing other people as well. Absolutely. Because nothing is off limits now. So like Julie said, is, is what Julie say? I go back up. Julie Ann said, sickness and disease too real to be sharing. Mm -hmm. Um... Uh, let's but I guess I guess they take on the mentality like, well, Whatever. if he's gonna do it behind my back, she was I let him do it. Oh, in you front never of my know. Face. They, might, they might be wrapping it up. Natheria says, "Do you think that our self worth is lower, boo? I don't even think it was high to begin with." Bronte says, "I'm not too certain. It has anything to do with standards. Agreed." 
Rashad says, yup, it's very much systematic. It trickled down until it became a generational curse. And now it's norm. And now it's very normal. Rashad says, again, once you get money, once you get money anything goes. Yes, Jody, for three years. That's what, that's what um, friends say. Three years. Three years. I'm just saying, y'all, I'm not saying that I agree. I just I need to make sure we put that out, out there. I, I agree, no, Paula. Presenting yeah, I'm presenting the like, like I was saying, mom, mom, make sure you don't have it mixed up. Make, yeah, <laughs> don't mix me up. That's a lot of compromising. Hey, Lucretia. Yeah, but I mean, let's be real. And, and honestly, you know, while we're having a conversation about polygamy, we know that there are some women who have stayed in marriages where other things were happening aside from adultery, where they stay because, I mean, everything right except for that. The money right. The provision is right. Where I, where I live is good. My children are provided for. They have everything they want, yeah. everything they need. And this one thing, they putting up with it because, I mean, I... You, but for yeah, me, I, that's a big thing, though. Because that's a sacred thing. What? Sex. The thing. Yeah. That ain't sacred no more, baby. It, for me, it is. Mm, sacred no more. For me, it is. And that's sacred. what I say. I mean, that... It's it sacred. Is, it isn't sacred anymore or considered sacred. Sacred. It's foolishness has become normal. I, I had a video <laughs> I wanted to play. Where it is. But can't play it because of the words in it. Uh, but this girl, she was doing a spoken word in a room full of people. You could hear it. And it was on TikTok. And she started the conversation off by saying this. No, we're gonna have sex first. Because I need to make sure the sex is good. And if we have after we have sex three times. If the sex is good, then we could start having a conversation and see where this relationship could go. That's powerful. Because there's no way I could be talking to you for months, getting caught up with you, and then we have sex and the sex ain't good, and now I'm heartbroken because I have to choose between having somebody I like a lot and having all wet or not I having good sex. But that's why you'll never be satisfied with you have a place trying to chase a high with so many people. And and yeah, you it's you ain't gonna ever be fed enough. Yeah, no. That's like yeah, it's the same thing as drugs. Um, Jody, you want you you want to something here? Jody says it's desperation. That's how come we had Sarah, Abraham, and Hagar so it is doing fool. Can we talk about it? Jeez. Can we talk about it? The Bible talks about how we have to be careful, 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 careful when you try to bring to pass the promises of God through human effort. That's what came out of the story. Of Hagar and Sarah, and Ishmael and Isaac. When the children them struggling and bad things happening to the children them. Because literally to we this don't know day, why. an entire nation is still struggling because of a human effort to bring to bring to pass the promises of God. But that's what that young lady from the TikTok video you just was talking yep. about. That's the same thing. That's the you same trying approach. to find your good thing and you're trying to go about it. Absolutely. Your By way. your means. Yeah, your way. Absolutely. All you're doing is running yourself. And down. that video. Right. That video. Because I don't know how to even make sense. Hundreds of thousands. What, of what likes. were the comments like? Uh, uh, people were agreeing. Wow. People Men and were women. agreeing. Men and women. Yes, yes. I saw some of the comments. So, Absolutely. I need to know what I'm dealing with before I, I go any deeper. But I saw somebody else comment and say, wow, I never thought about it like that. I'm going to try that. No, like this is. So I hear it. I oh, hear so it. I'm you, dumb. Th you thought about this. And I hear you know what? It. That dumb. makes sense. I hear it. That is sacred, but sacred for who? Who is it sacred uh, for honestly, Jesus, when we, we also just heard um, Dr. Jamal Bryan talking about how he speaks to, to um, his 30-year-olds differently about celibacy than he does that his, his members who are, are below that age. Because once you're over 30, then, you know, things change. You, you weren't supposed to be abstaining no more when you are, when you're over 30. So we make change. excuse. We make excuse for you now having sex because you're over 30, you're desperate. So wherever you could get it, you just wow. take it. Which is why we have Send these situations where um, oh, where we where we we willing to share. And it was in that same conversation that he apologized to a, a, a gay church for how the black church has treated um, the LGBTQ community. And, and I saw a pastor say, don't apologize for me. I'm sorry. So this is what we're dealing with. We're dealing with people, and and I, y'all know I petty. No, hold on, Marisha, don't don't be petty yet. 
put put the stick a pin. Don't forget that thought. Uh -huh. The lady that was speaking in the video was her efforts to marriage, or this is just to date someone. Um, when she like like I said, it was a spoken word. So, so at the end of the spoken word, she said, "And then when we get married, it'll be even sweeter because I started off knowing what I was dealing with." I mean, but that's just only one aspect of it, though. And that should tell you where the priority is. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted to know. I should tell you where the priority is. And if when you even look at this whole concept of polygamy, you will realize that that's where the priority is. Yeah. The priority is not in the purpose that you and this person share. Right, right. The it's priority is sex. not in like what we're bringing together no. as individuals. It's about I want sex so much. Wow. I need it from more than one person. I, I cannot be satisfied that's by one individual. Satisfaction for me is not possible. And the reason it's not possible because David says very clearly in the book of Psalms, God, you are the only one who can satisfy my soul. So many of us are finding ourselves in these situations where we're looking for satisfaction that can only come from God in people. Mm -hmm. And that's why, sweet girl, your husband out there with three and four other women and with you. And you all in the house in the room. Five bedroom house, all your post up. And all you all there because so you didn't have the master the bedroom. Buddy, all I know is but I want the master. Wow. Because it have the walk in closet. It's really the closet. You know what? Minister Marisha. Let the record show that's a demon. That I stated, that's a demon. Because if I can be sharing house with a bunch of women, I need the big closet. You know how much clothes I got? I can't have the small closet. And that's a, that's a very mentality that our women have taken Absolutely. on. Absolutely. I well, cannot have the small if closet. Well, I, if I can I live need... comfortably and my children can be okay, then I can accept any foolishness. I need the big closet. And not only that, we, 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 we make it normal just to get by in life without thinking about... The repercussions. <laughs> we don't think about how... And, and not only that, what, 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 what will that do to our children? Exactly. And the, few, and the future so your generations children, to come. Your children will now be like, okay, so I saw I my mommy. mommy. I and saw mommy, daddy. Mommy was like, she not no problem with daddy, with three and four women. And I see the three and four women daddy had. And not only that, the three and four women to take care of me too. Exactly. So I'm used to letting Sister Mary so Boo this and is, this is good. What? This That's is good. If I could set Miss Tingham corn beef could, and rice used to be busted. Exactly. So if I could set myself up where I get married, I just gotta make sure it's the main one because I don't want to be the side piece. With the master bed. I need the master bedroom with the walk-in closet. Walk closet. Foolishness. And then when I sick and tired of my husband and my children, send them to the second one. Send them no, send them down the hall. Send them home. Send them to the next room. Send them Foolishness. home where he belongs. And within myself. Okay, because everything we're talking about now is external. We're talking about the kids. When I stress out, yeah. go, go to your go go there, mommy though. number two. Go, that was on my go. mind. Brothers and your sisters. Go. Or when I'm overwhelmed with, yeah, with my yeah. husband's Life. foolishness. Deuces. And you, you go, and I have that. <laughs> you understand? Even as women, not every woman is wants to make themselves sexually available all the time, which is probably right. a reason right. this okay. may have began. Um, so you get to if let's say my drive isn't you think so? my drive isn't there anymore. Go, go there, boo. Uh, you you go over there because at a certain age, why are you calling me? I'm on the air. Um, <laughs> at a certain <laughs> age, it in it in what it used to be. So now, for some women, this like this like gold. This is like this is like ooh, gold. what? I don't have to be bothered with this. But really and truly, at your core, because it's if it's one thing. Us as women do not lose when we love our husbands is the excitement of knowing that this man has eyes for only me. That's what that's what every time I, I go to a wedding that my pastor does, he says, We think that a woman's greatest need is shopping and buying things. A woman's greatest need is knowing that she's the only woman in your life, that she's one. the number one. Who oh, no. He's the number one. That's it. Like th I want that. She's the number one. Now Something that that I find interesting about what we've been taught is the greatest need for a man. Um, but what we don't really understand is his greatest need, but we believe that this thing meets the greatest need, but it doesn't meet it all the time. Because as women, most of us, we would hear from older women or other married women that that man's greatest need is sex. But that's not his greatest need. His greatest need is to know he's king. Mm -hmm. Is to know he's it. 
like is to know that like he is needed as the man and what oftentimes um an adulterous relationship or a polygamous relationship often does is it makes him feel like king in multiple spaces yeah. Everybody need me. Everybody, Everybody me. need me. Everybody see me as it. Right. I mean, look at King David. In order for them to figure out whether or not listen. homeboy was dead, they put a virgin next to him. It's like, y'all want to know if King David dead? Check. Check, check by putting a virgin next to him and checking out to see if, if homeboy is still here or if he gone. David, That's... Sorry. I have an anonymous. Okay, go ahead. Read your... Read your no 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 Read that and then we can get some more comments in. Hola. Anonymous comment. When you look at some of the data, people who live in more tolerant countries like Amsterdam are not as inclined are not as inclined to participate in high risk behaviors for a long period of time when you compare with more Western countries who go to places like Amsterdam for sex and other things anonymously. Y'all want me to read that again? Yeah, because I ain't quite understand yeah. that. Say again. When you look at some of the data, people who live in more tolerant country, countries mm -hmm. like Amsterdam, I don't know if that's supposed to say that Amsterdam, are not as inclined to participate in high-risk behaviors for a long period of time. Okay, so push pause. Are they saying that pe persons who don't live in countries like Amsterdam, Amsterdam that yeah. they have an issue with with yeah. things that Amsterdam allows? Because you know Amsterdam actually um, makes um, prostitution legal. It's legal. Yeah. Like you could okay. be walking down the street and like how you walk down the streets in New York and you see clothing in a window. Yeah, you could walk down have, the streets of yeah. Amsterdam and see like a woman or a man and in a window on sale. People from Western countries okay. yeah. go to places like Amsterdam yeah. okay. because of the freedom. Sex and, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so we're we're on this side of the world. We are slightly. I think we we pretend as if we're conservative. We look. like it's 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 very pretentious. The look, the look, baby, the look. It's all about the look. So we look in like we ain't having multiple partners, but mm -hmm. we have multiple partners. Mm -hmm. Whereas Amsterdam, they just lay it all out in the streets. It's just, like, just, have it in the windows. Just put it in the window. You want this one? You want black? You want brown? You want in between? You want olive? olive. You want Asian mixed with black? Olive. You want Hispanic mixed with white? Like which which one you want? You want Cuban mixed with Asian? Whatever your cup of tea is. Also, I just want people to, especially married couples, when um, after you've been married for so long, and some people maybe not even that long, when you start to lose some form of excitement and mm -hmm. you don't know where the lack is coming in, mm -hmm. people automatically think, okay, this is sexually related. Yeah. When I don't think that's the case. Not every time. Not every time. When, you, when your whole day is you wake up, no one say nothing to nobody, you brush your teeth, I know you want cornflakes. I know you want pancakes. We kiss on in the driveway. We go to work. We come back. The conversation at the table is the same, if any at all, and what's not. And so when they're looking now for ways to, I guess, bring some excitement Spark. back into the marriage, no, no one really what is says this? now. Polly, um, Polly, Polly, polygonandry. And with see that, I, I ain't even gonna try that. That that one. That's when you bring another another married. couple, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, it's the better marriage. The, and the danger in that Undefined. is, let's look at <laughs> men. Let's look at men, mm. right? Um, and even I don't care how saved you are as a man. I can't speak for them, but I would like to think because um, Dr. Like Miles Monroe mm -hmm. spoke about this. Bells above can can castle bells above. He said they 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 have a certain part of them that sex is don't. it. So don't have no brain. When you when you open up your marriage to these things, you run the risk of you, the wife. Maybe the husband, but more more times than often, I would think, you, the wife, Miss Dantana, not not liking it as much as your husband. And but now I think you have to keep this I think up that's because double sided because, like in the case that you talked about in the TikTok video I'm that I told it. you that I saw, like, them daughters miserable. No, I'm using it as a, let me use this as a, an example. Mm -hmm. Me, the wife. Mm -hmm. I didn't like it 
but my husband seems to love it. He want to do it again. Oh, so that making me... him happy. Mm. I'm, I haven't seen my husband this happy in ten. So years. you keep doing okay. it. Okay. So cause... he keeps doing it. You see it. And okay, so it's saying. chipping away at me. So but it makes what, him happy. But it makes him happy. And there are those compromises that we make in our marriage, in our marriages, and in our relationships. Where I'm not talking about major ones. I'm talking about small ones. I'm talking about. I remember a friend of mine. She shared with me. She was traveling with her husband for her birthday, and she said there are, there's just certain compromises you make. She said, now y'all know me. I don't want to go to no baseball game. But she said, here I was on a trip with my husband, sitting down watching a baseball game because I love him, and that's what he wanted to do on my birthday. And so I did it. And she said, I, that does not make me excited. I did not want to do that. But she said, my husband said that's what he wanted to do mm -hmm. with me on my birthday, and I made that sacrifice. So I feel like within... The birthday. Within our marriages, we we make these we make these concessions. But all on on her birthday. Yeah, we make these concessions. <laughs> Not his birthday. Yeah, yeah on her, her birthday. That's we make it. we make these okay. concessions. I'm just being real here. Let's just be real. <laughs> My, <laughs> My birthday. My birthday. Oh. Like, anyway, let me read the comments. Make it make sense. Um, standards don't exist anymore. I've been told as a young man that I should test the waters. Just a taste. Taste. Just one Don't day. say that on A. Sorry. Too late. I said it. The waters <laughs> before I go in any further. That was taught to me by a family member and an older married friend. It's, it just sound like Renee say, say she know. Say I know standards depend on age. Absolutely. Gracious. She's watching from Zambia. Welcome, Hi. Gracious. Hi. Um, the availability of sex too. I don't know if she was referring to, but um, okay. Standards don't exist anymore. I have been told as a young man that I should test the. Oh, I read that already. Okay. Um, desperate for love, desperate for money, desperate for sex, desperate for fame and status. Turn a blind eye once the money good. This is so real right now. Oh my God! Cross the hallway is crazy. Get you some <laughs> headphones. There's nothing new under the sun. Set up your marriage like a yeah. chore chart. Rubbish. <laughs> we got on the fridge uh, schedule. Monday fridge. and Tuesday, my days. Wednesday and Thursday is your days. I wake up, look on the fridge. What today is Tuesday? Okay, let me go back to bed. Uh, exactly. What? Exactly. Sp God say, Shell. <laughs> Ready? Say that. You know what? Richard God says, bless the child whoever's on. Oh, on Lord one. God. Not even in the Bible either. And that's Probably where the generational though. curse begins. No one wanted to stop it because we got comfortable in the sin and lifestyle. So the children only continue the trend that was laid out for their entire life. That analogy that the brain of a child is like a sponge is so true. Physically and spiritually, then we wonder why we need so much deliverance. Mm. Michelle says, so you know in Utah, polygamy is so real. Those kids, them calling all them sister wives, mommy. Confusion in the chat. <laughs> no, it's confusion taking place. Bronte says, I'm curious to know how they manage jealousy because I would cause a this riot. This is where I thought Kara was going. I would cause a riot when I want time with my man and cannot get it. Even if the man is a provider and I don't have to, and I don't have to boil water. That's, that's what I thought you were going to say, Carl. Attempts to fill voids. But they say on my birthday, hmm, his birthday either. I know, her. not me. Listen to me. When you in your marriage, you make the sacrifice you have to make. You willing to make for your your spouse on my birthday, though. Yeah, but die, die your marriage or somebody else on, and you have no idea what what he did on our birthday, on his what she did on his birthday. Okay. You don't know. I do. She gonna make him go on shopping. You know, I don't... I, I don't you, know why. Pull it closer to you. That's different. It, it might have been the opposite thing, though. No. You just don't know. Why are you going to make me suffer on my birthday? You don't love me. You oh, Lord. Is that, what, is that what it is, though? You never or, did. Because you never love... Me. Loves, that's not true. Love says what matters to you matters more than what matters to me. So even though it's my birthday, even though it's my birthday, what matters to you matters more than what matters to me. So it don't matter. Mm. All the Bahamian women allow their husbands to have concubines. Yeah, Absolutely. Renee says, okay, let's go to Safar on your birthday. Absolutely. 
absolutely. Um, on my birthday, it's highly selfish. That ain't compromise. I hear you, but I mean, that's just that. To each his own. That's how I feel. To each his own. That's your marriage. I'm either, just saying, or whoever. I'm, I'm saying, on him, let's not you're. pretend like when we're in relationships and when we are married, we don't make concessions that we don't always agree with. Some days you want to eat chicken, but he want pork chop, and you sit down and eat a pork chop, and you want a chicken because you're cooking two things. Not on my birthday, though. On my birthday, I want to eat fish. Cara, get over so the birthday thing. That was only an example. I'm saying <laughs> there are compromises that we make. No, that's my only thing. Um, it's because of the birthday thing. I'm not I, that was just an example. Okay? Get over the birthday thing. You hold on to something that's in, immaterial. Hold on. I hold that on to it. I ain't gonna lie. I it's immaterial. It what I'm trying to say <laughs> is this. We all make compromises. We all make them. So to say to someone who is in a polyamorous relationship that, you yes, know, Lord. they shouldn't be making a concession, how can we say that to them? There are levels to concessions? But, I mean, I feel like comparing food to something intimate in terms of... So there are levels. Of, in terms of compromise. I mean, okay, my husband doesn't eat mayo. I love coleslaw. I will prepare. A, you love God's law, and I just don't put any on his plate. But if we're compromising something else, there's a line that has to be drawn. So it, it isn't like something just, oh, well, we compromise about mail, so let's just, no, that's garbage to me. <laughs> no, for real. Like, I'm mean, okay, we compromising because you decided you want pork chop and I want chicken, and I just suck it up and say, okay, I'm going to have chicken. Sure, no problem. But when it comes to other things, it's giving, I, can I, I don't know if I can say it on the radio. It's giving a big no, hon. So do you say, my husband only eats seafood, so most days I can't eat what I want. So I mean, if it's a concession, I'm just saying. Y'all, I tell you, I play an advocate here on the show. Concession is concession, no? Level time. No, no, see, and you could get mad at me. I don't care. But a little, a little thing. Like it being my birthday changes it. Okay. Okay, now I'm, I'm doing about the birthday thing no more. Let's bring it back into, because, yes, there are levels. Because when I say true, better or worse, I mean you bring anyone home and, and lala come get in, shit. Come in, come in the and, camera, mom. You're in the camera like, hiding. Because, you know. <laughs> Lala gets shared with everybody. Like there has to be <laughs> where the, no where does the compromise reach a cap? Now that's a good question. That's where do we problem. cut off compromise? Do, 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 do. And y'all please talk about these things before y'all get married. This is the problem with humanity. Too much fleshly desires and selfishness. Hey. Where do we cut off the compromise? Where where do you draw the line? Y'all married. I single. So y'all tell us where to draw the line. I already stayed my, my thing on that. This is the important thing about dating and, and thing on because lines where need to drawing be, the line. lines need to be drawn way before you get married. But see then the one that man see, wanted to do that before he the line you. the lines couldn't have been drawn if your only reason for marriage was to have sex. Misspoken word on it. The, the, we could we could never get to the nit, the nick rid of things if the only reason oh it's better to marry than to burn then great sure and then when you end that and you ain't no longer burning no more it's now we gotta figure out what levels of compromise and where he come from in his family men having multiple women was the norm for him and then Very your normal. family and then your family is listen me one. So we can't, it's difficult to have those conversations if we are training our children and training young women. Listen, if he has money and mm -hmm. he could do that thing in the bedroom good for you, then that's enough. We make it enough. Because like we said earlier. Sorry, Cara, I mean, cut you off. I just tell him. Right no worries. Because what we have done is we have, first of all, there was no standard. And we have not raised it. Hmm. And no, and not only that, the persons who try to raise it, they are, they, they are 
Oh man, they get the bad end of the yeah, stick. Yeah, they're because judged. You no, no, and you know they say, um, your standards too high, man. You don't know, um, you don't ever get no man, right? You, you know, man, around here willing to do all those things you want him to do. Absolutely, because you decide to raise the standard. Hmm. Man, don't be faithful, and people glamorize immortality when they catch in hell. Or, or they from say, you talking uh, to other women, it's a no. It's a no for me. Y'all remember when self control, and I being completely sarcastic, was in the Bible. <laughs> It's As one there. of the fruits of the spirit, it is one. Y'all remember? Y'all remember when that was but there? The, but the problem is, and let's be real. Let's have a real conversation here. The problem is, it wasn't real before the no, I mean, like being like <laughs> I really, know. really real. I know. Uh, like the problem is that that fruit of the spirit sits there in the Bible, telling us that self control is one of the fruit of the spirit, alongside Solomon and David. That's the problem in the same Bible. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. And Abram and Abraham. Mm. Like, it's all there. Like, let's not pretend like that don't come up in conversations, especially when people mm. have a problem with Christians. I understand. I get your point. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. That they say that our Bible contradicts itself because, I mean, if you're supposed to be. Um, what, yeah, what Paul sub, said to Timothy? Submit to her own husband. Sorry. Paul said know. to Timothy, uh, uh, um, uh, a husband of one wife and all of that, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. blah, 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 blah. In that same book is. Solomon with his 700 wives and con- concubines. 700. Mm-hmm. And David, when you want to know if he dead, you place in a virgin next to him. Not yeah, his but wife. okay, you, you with all, your wisdom, you Not with all your wisdom, people to this day in 2023 um, seeing the stupidity in all your wisdom. Um, and then <laughs> when we look at Abraham, no, let's be real. <laughs> There are and those ma- stories, and the man but who what have the repercussions? Wives. And the man who has 700 wives and concubines was called the wisest man to ever live. Yeah, so a stupid bad, okay? <laughs> Too stupid for the woman. strongest man. You're stupid. Let that woman got you oh, Look at Abraham. Jesus. There were repercussions and headaches. You, you understand? Because, uh, because so of more than one woman. Don't, don't, don't make it seem don't like... Don't make it seem yeah. like they just ran off into the sunset. Yeah. No. There are repercussions Absolutely. for... Man, can I preach this gospel? Absolutely. You preach Absolutely. Absolutely. But in the moment... In the moment... What did Latoya say? Whoops, say this is the problem with humanity. Too much fleshly desires and selfishness and people glamorize immortality when they catch an L. We don't see the hell Solomon catch. Mm. That's not the part that's highlighted about his story. Like, if y'all let like, be real, for most of us, when we learn about Solomon, we know he was the, 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 the quote unquote the wisest man who ever lived. And could spit game. And could talk. Wait, he could talk your clothes off. You ever read? You ever really read days. that? You ever really read that? Lines like, for days. We don't Wait. talk. We don't talk about what happened to him. He's we don't from talk Andrus. about his end. Solomon was from Andrus. <laughs> Not Andrus at that. We she don't talk about you. We don't talk about how his reign as king came to an end. Exactly. We don't talk about none of that. We don't talk about what he suffered and what he had to deal with as a result yeah. of his actions. And that's like Latoya said, we paint it as this glamorous thing, mm-hmm. but we don't realize that like but there's a hell to go in. I, I saw this video and I can't remember. I think somebody inboxed it to me on Instagram where there was a young man. Um he was an effeminate young man. Um, out there, flamboyantly gay, talking about how hot it is, saying that he reconsidering being gay because it's so hot and he can't go to hell. I mean, we know. We know. No, hon. <laughs> so, what? What? Hour and eleven minutes in, hon. Let me hear what the theory is saying. The theory is saying, I walked away from a multimillionaire because he never had time for me. All he wanted to do was give me an unlimited card and told me to shop. I walked away from the huge house, brand new car, and everything else. I had all the material things, but not true love, so I wasn't happy. Now, I'm married to an amazing man for almost five years. God bless you all. And to be the advocate here in the theory of. I could hear a woman saying to you, sweetie, you dumb. Someone want someone went inbox you right now. And ask you who he was. And ask you whom to Give me his who, name who and his was. number. Wow. Because that's their response would be, sweetie. I was con- I was can keep the man money. I was gonna stay in the house and drive the brand new car and have my little sweetie on the side and make right. sure he don't find out about it. Right. 
since he since he busy. And I was gonna put him in a polygamous relationship, but he wasn't even gonna know there was some polygamy going on. Nathiria, I respect you. They tell you that all the time, sweetie. I listen. I just, like. Let's be real. This is what we're facing <clears throat> in society now, and the question you, is. The question is, how do we change the narrative, and can we? Zero, you're sending in for a way. You just play. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I am. <laughs> it, it, it boxed that number. <laughs> 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 That's what they would say. And you can't blame them, especially because that's all we know. Think about the young woman whose mother is using her to get money from men by telling her, boo, tonight you're going to have to deal with this one, and then tomorrow night you're going to have to deal with this one. Yeah. And it's real. And it's we need real. to eat. It's very real. And the electricity bill needs to pay. And y'all see what BPL just do? Mm -hmm. Electricity just double in, in cost. Oh, so bills got to pay, boo. Something have to give. And this is the reality that we're dealing with. And I think... It's one of the things that is so hard to ignore in this conversation. We cannot pretend like this thing is not normal. We need to, I mean, we need to stop being surprised and start addressing it. Okay. I feel like our shock and surprise is coming from a place of naivety yeah. and almost like, What's the word that I'm looking for? Like, it's almost like we play in ignorant. It's almost like we play in like. Or like if we don't address it, then it's going to go away. Right. So it's like we ignoring it. Like we play in like it don't happen. Like we're not, we're not talking about it. We could have men and women of God who are found to be um, in adulterous relationships. And we just accept it. Yeah. First and second lady. Like no big deal. Third. Like, let's just keep on carrying on smartly as if this thing didn't happen. We could see someone out. Listen to me. You could see somebody out who you know you've been to their wedding. Uh -huh. Shoots, you started the wedding. Bridesmaid. Groomsmen. <laughs> you started the wedding, and you see homeboy, you see homegirl, out with somebody who you know that wasn't the person. Who they walk down the aisle with, and you say nothing. But that's the thing. Like the way life, you do the nothing. way life has become. It's like okay, it ain't my business. I'm staying out of it because but it then, ain't my fight. But then when the pastors say at the wedding, if you agree, as because every wedding I, I sing to plenty of weddings in my life. I right. listen to me. The amount of weddings I didn't sing to in my lifetime, Lord Jesus. And every single wedding I go to, no matter what denomination it is, they ask this question, do you, the people in this room, agree to help these people uphold their marriage? Mm -hmm. so also, and we say yes. And we did it before God. Okay. All right. And we say yes. And then you see this person out our wacky with one woman who or one and the wife or one man. Who and their husband. Or with the same sex. And you know they married. No, you, you agreed to uphold that. I gone for the cake. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have said yeah. On the fish plate. But not only that, you did that before God. That's true. But people don't. You know, weddings now is so... Yep. You know, Superficial. nobody, nobody... No, we it's go. not a sacrament anymore. It's not the sacrament. Let's, let's, it's let's not the real. sacrament of holy let's matrimony be real, anymore. But let's, it let's isn't holy. Remind, let's remind the people, right? But the mindset yes. of a lot of people, I'm sure, is um, I wonder what the bride wearing, how she look. I wonder what the groom mm -hmm. them wearing. Mm -hmm. I, I wonder how the church can look. Yeah. I wonder what song they coming into. Um, what song? Who's singing? Please, that, that, that is me, my day. Who's yeah. singing? Every day. Wait Don't mess up these people. If I hear that song at another wedding, I can form it. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I found love in you. All that. I, I want to see all that. And then, and, oh. then, and then. Shoot me in the face. I want to go change into my pantsuit because 
I know the reception could be lit. Party. Yeah, because these people ain't exactly, right. you know what I mean? They, they, but, yeah. this, but this and is just holy matrimony, it. though. This yeah. whole, this I, I, only, I hear, that's they, a, I no. hear they, they hire big It's not holy matrimony. And, the, and this and that. And the food, that's who catering? Boy. And the food, we are the same. Meatball. Yeah. Me <laughs> or uh, they get Demetrius um, doing, doing the, the host. The, yeah. He emceeing. And he a key, 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 and all day. And you just a key, key, key. Nowhere in our minds is be, I'm going there. Yes, as they commit something to God, I am going there to make a vow to God that I'm going to, to help, help uphold exactly. this marriage. Nobody. And then let's just be real. We, as a culture, have become so enamored and so excited about drama and just being in people business that a lot of us don't even realize, even the people of God, don't even realize how much drama excites us. I could be honest. When I sit now watching them videos, you see the video with the woman who walk in on the wedding and was like, oh, so this what you doing? This what you doing? Mm -hmm. So you get married, you just woke up from next to me. And now you get married. And I there like, oh, oh. It's hard. <laughs> wait, what? And in my mind, I'm like, wait, if I ever had a wedding, I, that happen, happen, would you, I wouldn't know what to do. Rate your heart rate when the preacher <laughs> say, is there anyone? Come on. Come on. Who can show just cause? Come on. Why these two should not be joined together in marriage. Speak now or forever. Will you be, Come your on. heart is be like, it's uh, the day uh, going to be uh, the day. Uh, yeah, I look around, look around. Like, yeah. And don't let the bride or the groom have a reaction like where they turn towards the crowd and be like, like mm, I dare one of y'all to say mm, something up in the other day. Yeah. So I dare, I dare all marriage officers and those doing these weddings. Just how we have to charge the bride and the yes, groom. Yes, absolutely. Let's take a minute to charge the audience. Because you, you have to give an account. When you start and witness a wedding, you start and witness a wedding, you have to give an account. You. You have to give an all them weddings you witness. You have to give an account for the times that when the when the priest or the pastor or whoever, the marriage officer said, "Are you willing to uphold this marriage?" You you agree? Yes, we will. Whatever, depending on where you are. No, you're making an agreement to be the community that ensures that marriage stays together. But that's the thing. I think that a lot of persons, like we, because we're talking about the persons that attend or yeah. who stand, etc. I think um, don't let them not like the bride or like the groom. If the groom decides to go and be with a man or a woman, they're happy. They're happy about it, and that's good for that wife because that's I never good for that husband and, too. And, oh, that's good. And that's good for that husband because I never like. I never like their attitude. I never liked his attitude. I, I never, never liked them for you in the first I, place I, anyway. That, no, and you know, you know this too. God told me that wasn't your wife. Yeah. Uh, God I, told me that wasn't your like husband. God and but but no, God alone, you know, better stop, stop bringing God and things. But no, but it. no, but on a serious note, that's what happens, and that's why no one can address, or or in other cases, if if husband or wife vents to someone else, which you shouldn't be doing, don't do that. But no, but it happens. It does. Vents to someone else paints the other party out to be the bad person. It doesn't matter if we condone your foolishness. It doesn't matter if we condone her foolishness. Because, listen, you say this person's stressing you out, and I'm making sure you straight, and making sure that when you go home, at least you already had your fun fix, and making sure um, you get whatever you need to get, and I covering up for you, or I doing this and I doing that. And that, that has become normal. Or, Absolutely. Or they take on the mentality, well, I'm not condoning, but I'm not correcting either. Because you don't want to get in people business. And why we want to get in people business? Because they switch on you quick. Okay. So what? I mean, what, so what do you do? You that never quick. happened to you, eh? You that looking at me before? You, you looking Absolutely. out for your friend, yeah. or was not? And child, you no, you, public you enemy need, number one. I was told you need to sweep your own doorstep. You worry about mine. Oh, because oh no, you want marriage, so you can't give me no no, no oh. advice about marriage. But not only that. Oh, sorry, I forgot my thought. I I think in addition to that, the reality okay. is they're not going to leave their spouse. No. So it don't even make no sense addressing it. 
if mm -hmm. in their mind this is this is what is considered well she was i don't want dresses because she ain't girl nowhere he ain't girl nowhere let me just let them figure it out but like you said when we were having the conversation about whether or not we would talk to our girlfriends about like if their clothes need to fix what things in right. place you say we got to use discernment and how to approach yeah. people because some yeah. people you right. just cannot approach you cannot. them yeah. about something that's wrong yeah. with them yeah no matter if it's the fact that their bra straps show it yeah or your husband cheating on you yeah you tell some people you just cannot approach them because the share pointing out something wrong in them brings so much shame and embarrassment to them. Their automatic response comes from a place of pride and they ain't on your run. Yeah. They don't want to hear nothing. No, you ain't talking to me. Take the log of your own eye first. This time, when the person said it to me, I was like, you know, I'm single, right? So. No, but yeah, but hold on. Let me be that you woman. You telling me sweep my doorstep? I'm inadequate. Let me let me be that ah. woman. I'm inadequate. I am in a polygamous mm -hmm. relationship with my husband and someone else because I'm not adequate enough for him. No matter what I do, I'm not enough. Mm. And now you telling me my clothes ain't fixed right, my hair don't look right, something I do ain't right, and so I'm going to respond, put up that, respond yeah, from, from that, that place. place. Yeah, because I understand. That's what I dealing with. I understand, but that's still no excuse. I mean, it's not an excuse. I mean, like. Oh, oh, well, I, I'm, I'm assuming that this person who does the correcting or the pointing out would be a friend. Yeah, not a supposed to be. Yeah. It's supposed to be a friend, not a complete stranger. And that is something that I try to train my mind to do. Not everything that someone says is from that kind of place although you may be in that place. If you understand mm. what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So, so don't run it through your filter. Yeah, so don't 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 be Kara with this bottle stick. You you mad at the bottle, but you really you taking it on Kara because Kara was the first person to say, "Listen, you know, you need to screw on the on the cap just a mm -hmm. little bit tighter." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think that's something as women we should work on as individuals. Um how I feel about me me it's not how the person's how, coming to how me how i yeah. feel about my hair how i feel about my weight how i feel about how i look has nothing to do with someone else and not only that i think it would be more so offensive if you told this person listen you know i struggling with boom 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 and you know i have a problem with my hair or my whatever it is mm -hmm. it, and and then that person pokes a bear then i think that's enough reason to freak out but if they come if they're if they're completely oblivious to the fact of what's going on with you it's it's wrong i'm not saying that every day goes to that it's wrong to even try to beat that person with that stick and expect them just to i'm not saying be baby right, jesus with you sub subconsciously <laughs> right mm -hmm. when you're not you don't you don't even know where to start processing what's happening yeah yeah marriage. yeah so you don't you don't even know why it is when marisha comes to me and say hey your shirt, little, yeah. Yeah, this one wash or something yeah. like that. You you lash out, and it's not that you planned to. It's and just that's, you and that's have because so you upset with something else. But not only uh, that, uh, unchecked, let's, unchecked um, issues. That's yeah, what it let's, is. Let's take it even further because you're talking about just simply talking to that that woman, that girlfriend, about something that may be just a little bit out of place with her clothing. But when you, as her friend, end up in a situation where you discover that a spouse may be stepping out on her or doing some things for another woman that look a little suspect. Now you trying to approach her and say, listen, I'm not trying to create no ruckus in your house. I'm not trying to break up your marriage. But as my friend, I need to let you know this, mm -hmm. that this is what I saw. Mm -hmm. And this is how it happened. This is how it went down. And I don't know what you can do with this information. But I couldn't know and you not know. Yeah. And them having the same I filter think that kind. you said that you said that you said that they have, mm -hmm. they could pop off in the same way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. if in their mind they're like, Well, I already ain't adequate for this man, I'm not enough for this man. And it's one thing to know, it's one thing to know that the person you're in a relationship is cheating on you. It's another thing to know that they're making a fool out of you yeah. and letting other people who know you yeah. see what they're doing. Yeah. That's two totally yeah. different things. Yeah. When someone is cheating on you and they're hiding it, there's at least some regard for yeah, you there. Yeah, your feelings. Like your feelings are considered. They don't want to make, make you look like a fool right, out there. Right. 
but it's another level another level of betrayal yeah another level of insult when you out there and you don't care, don't care. Yeah. like people seeing you, you and this your person you posting, like, post up on yeah. this posting pictures with this yeah. person like you are the person who you cheating on them with have you post up all over their social yeah. media and stuff Jeez. all over their whatsapp yeah. status yeah and Lord. you ain't give them no rules you ain't give them no stipulations you won't tell them it's listen really no, because I mean, let's be real. There, yeah. There's be rules and stipulations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In these type of relationships. Yeah. No, there's a rule. There, there are rules. I actually met a guy. In, there are rules. In John Bull, right? And <laughs> ironically enough, I think this is, I don't know, whatever time of the year it was. Must be Christmas. I don't know. Must be. And he said, he was asking my opinion on a scent for his girlfriend. This is what I was under the assumption. <laughs> this is the thing in the head of my true. head. Right. This, this, this is what I think. In. Right. And he was like, oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. That costs too much. And I was like, so what does your girlfriend, why are you trying? I mean, like, what is, what is $100? Right. I mean, that's a quality perfume. So right. So dealing with. Uh -huh. And he was like, no, no, no. I can need her to know that she, she's not the main girl. Oh. So I don't need to spend more money. On the side piece that I do want to mean that one. I do want to mean, and I can need her to know a place. So there therefore, are rules. there are rules, man. She will get a fifty dollar perfume, and the mean one gets. But then you shouldn't have been in Tingham for that for that perfume. You should have just gone to Bath and Body. But but this is he wanted to get both quality, but just let you know levels to the quality. Because the only thing you could be buying out of there is Tingham. The toilet. It the toilet water. <laughs> No, but, but when he said that, like my mouth dropped. I'm like, you, you process that like that? that. No, because there are rules. You process like that? There are rules. It, when it's okay, there there are rules and there are different levels. Like that's how I ask y'all if there are different levels of compromise. There are rules and there are different levels. Let's go floor level. Floor level is I got you on the side. My wife don't know. My husband don't know. You mm. shush. Don't you, tell your don't, friends. Don't speak. This to don't no, don't break this. Don't have your phone on. To nobody. We don't move in the light of day. Mm -hmm. We move in the dark of night. We don't meet the same place. Never, ever. We are not creatures of habit here. Okay. We don't be seen together. When we in public, we don't even speak to one another. We don't even acknowledge one another. There's That's that so level. Scary. That's real, hon. There is that level. Yeah, then, that's real though. then let's move up a little bit more. When you move, you move discreetly. When I move, I move discreetly. But what we ain't going to do is we ain't going to allow our paths to cross mm. in front of people. Mm. So I mind what you're doing. Right. And don't you, watch what I'm doing either. Don't watch what I'm doing. Mm. But listen. If we ever, if we ever cross paths, you don't know me. I don't know you. Wait, you don't know me. You know me from where? Never seen you in my life. No, that's real, hon. That's real. <laughs> Why you that's level two. <laughs> Why you squinting, girl? This is scary, but I'm. This is level no, two. This, 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 this is this level two of polygamy. And this is why you gotta be sharp. You have to be. You gotta you be in sharp. If you're in sharp, on. This. Eat your lunch. Let's go to the next level. The next level is this. I know, but homeboy. I know, but homegirl. I know where they live. I know where they work. I know the kind of car they drive. Just don't bring them around me. I don't care what you do out there. I don't care if you are no. pictures post. I don't care if people see you with that person. I don't care. Just, just see me clapping. Just don't bring them around me. Don't bring them to my house. Don't carry them around my friends. Get them around your friends, I don't care. Mm. Around the children. They could be around your, your other children, not my children with you, but the other ones. They could be around your family. Just don't bring them around my family. Don't bring them in my house. Don't bring them around my friends. And don't bring them around my coworkers. You keep that separate and apart. And then there's the next level that apparently we graduate into now. Where's the free fall? We don't care. He paying the bills. God say share. He's on schedule. Whatever. Monday, Tuesday. Sweetie, today I, I know today's my day, but come take your husband, please. Oh, my goodness. 
Take him. I, I, Believe I it or not, that, 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 that seems to be the direction that, that we headed in. That we headed in. That and is scary. And it's sad. It's scary because, like, and we like, really, we, we, at this point, we really need God to intervene. Wait. Like, 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 who, like, when, when we can know, when, when we can know, like, listen, cut it out. Stop. But let's talk, stop now. Let's talk about where the real problem is. Here's where the real problem is. And I've heard this conversation come up um, a lot, believe it or not, from the LGBT community. The problem I is, think I know what you're about to say. the problem is, Christian marriages don't look good. Right. Right. You ain't happy. You don't look happy. You cheating on 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 your husband. Your husband cheating on you. So and then if y'all post is, up in on Sunday with the first woman and first man. If know. this is the standard, if then Christian cheapest. if Christian marriage is the standard and it looks like foolishness and it looks like garbage, then why? Well, I would say to that, um, just as we do our research on everything else, I feel like the mess is put to the forefront. But there are Christian marriages where absolutely they are happy. And that is always my fight with the people around me because I'm surrounded, and I thank God for it. I'm surrounded by a lot of beautiful marriages. Honestly, I'm, and I feel like, like everywhere it, I they, look, they just looking to find error to, uh, what is the word I'm looking for to to make what they are doing right. But I always or ask, to justify is the word I, I always ask for. those people. I was like, why y'all don't at least like I ask you to put your business out there. But every now and then, just put a post on Facebook and say, you know what, Christian marriage is beautiful. What they, and what, most of them, what they say? most of them would say to me is, I don't need to put that out there because I don't need to invite attack into my marriage. That's it. And I'm saying to myself, but the God that you serve have to be greater than the attack of the enemy. That's what I say. Agreed. But there is something called unnecessary warfare, hon. But it's, is, is it unnecessary if, if you're actually... Advancing the kingdom? Yes. How could you call that unnecessary warfare? It could be unnecessary. No, that's necessary because it, your children are going to grow up into it, a world where Christian marriage does not look like it's beautiful. But I mean, if they are my children, then they would have seen us in the house, eh? Yeah, but they don't spend all their time with you in the house. They spend more time with them people out there. But they, they know what home looks like and what it should look like. But that's the and home I, is not I, their only influence. I still think that there is... I, I, well, I agree with you to an extent, but I still... like. Anything that's good isn't really found everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Anything that is top tier, diamonds, you know where we find them? Uh, underground. I and agree. It, it is, it, one second, right? So I'm not saying that I'm disagreeing with you. I'm just saying for some marriages and for some people, can a man stand fire in his bosom and not be burnt? Why put why I mean like you know what I mean? Like let's let's get their thought process as to why they don't. Now I, I can say maybe in certain spaces where they have a chance to empower another couple or talk to someone that's single or pursuing marriage, I would say, Okay, well, this these are some of the things that we did to da 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 da, da, da but in this day and time everyone is posting something just to be up and up and then all the little fish them won the big shark because or he is treat don't 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 let you post oh my man got me this or my man got me that and you have honestly some women who would go out of their way to get your husband or and to get I think or that's get, why I, I said I don't or, I don't want or details. to get your wife. I ain't even asking for details. When I was making the suggestion I was like but I don't want no details. I want you saying what all oh, you're supposed to do. Or all this happened or whatever. No. Something simple. Just say, you know what? God created marriage and it's great. Because we don't even say that. Most times when you hear a married person speaking to a single person, one of the things they say, boy, tie goat, loose goat don't know what tie goat feel like. Mm. Or enjoy your single life. Because boy, when you get married, it is, it is be different. It has changed. Let, 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 okay. So you understand what I'm saying? I'm listening to the two of y'all, right? I don't, I don't really know, and I'm very careful about the 
a necessary warfare thing because ain't nobody could beat my God. Exactly. Number one. Number two, when we look at um, the world advocating for what it is that it believes, right? Um, we don't be when we when we have that mindset of child. Let me keep me right in in, in this little bubble. Why? Because Tina knows this Beyonce mommy. Mm -hmm. She had a highly publicized marriage when she divorced Matthew. Yes, Rose, and she married the actor Richard Long. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Got upstanding guy. She filed for divorce recently. She sure did. But that didn't make the headlines like Devon, Pastor Devon, and and Megan. Exactly. You, you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's where 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 are we when it's time to show um, that basically what's being put out there regarding Christian marriages is not necessarily the norm. That the good ones don't exist. Yeah. It's it's almost like when you think of it like. None of y'all happy. Exactly. All of your all pastors' wives unhappy. All pastors sleeping around on their wives. Right. And the men and the women and who it's ended. It's not true. But that's but what people are saying. The men and the women who go to church different. messing around. And it's gotten to the point where you can see an honestly happy, happily married Christian family. And you wouldn't even and believe just it. Because of the conditioning of the You mind, wouldn't even believe it. People would be like, are they lying? You wouldn't even you believe understand? it. Like I, I like the the um the analogy that you used, Joyne, about diamonds and, and it and it being hidden and, and stuff dirt, like yeah. that because there is there is an element of our relationships preparing for marriage in marriage. People are just not supposed to know about. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. is supposed to be hidden. Mm -hmm. My difficulty is while a diamond is hidden, at least you know it does exist and that it's real. The vow That's says, my thing. Do not enter into marriage That's un my thing. advisably, but mm -hmm. discreetly. If we are entering a covenant and the, and the covenant, the, the, the contract says to us, listen, do this discreetly, I'm sure there is still some level <laughs> that we need to be discreet about. Absolutely. Um, yeah, um, Absolutely. So we're not saying that we need to know the details, but what I'm saying is... You know that a diamond exists, and you know that it's sacred. And to the people that are saying that, okay, everybody miserable and everybody saying, I'm just look a little harder. You looking for the mess. We, we only could look for the mess because that's the filter that's been created. Well, change your filter, hon. It's hard for me to change my filter when I'm not even seeing something that looks like a different filter. Okay, but you found something different with liking a man or liking a woman, and you chose to change your filter to that. I'm sorry to be so dry eye, but come on, let's be real. We change filters for what we want to change it for. You understand? You, 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 to the pure, all things are pure. You decide to say, you know, something, well, it just looked like da 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 da, so let me just, no. I think it's easy to see that when, you're, when you've been exposed. I, I, have, I have had people who I've come across, come across, and their thing was they never saw a good marriage, so they're never getting married. And it's not because. They can't change their filters because they literally have never been exposed to it. Like, it's not a matter of them not even seeking out the information or whatever. Like, they are, they are constantly. No, my response is, was for the, for the first person who was like, um, or this is the LGBT community who's saying, okay, well, all of the marriages in the church are a sham, basically. That, that, that was my response to that. Now, in other cases, persons, I've heard persons say, okay, well, it ain't, look, it ain't working for mommy, it ain't working for daddy, it ain't looking for, and yeah. I watch my mommy get, get married three times, so I don't think that I want to yeah. take... Well, and even my cousins, this. them, even my uncles and my aunties, like, so why even bother? I mean, like, okay, I don't mind putting myself out there. I'll be real with you. I could look at my mother and my father's side of the family, right? When I look at my mother's side of the family... Two original marriages are still there. One of them has been together the entire time. The other one, they spent a time apart for years. Mm -hmm. And came back together. And came back together. Mm -hmm. But everybody else, divorce. Multiple partners. So what would you say? So there was a point in time in my life, knowing what I experienced on my father's side of the family mm -hmm. as well, because there's a whole lot of colorful stuff there that I won't share on air. Mm -hmm. But it's just like a lot of mess. Okay. Now, keep in mind, my father's side of the family is from a family island. Okay. So, okay. family island it. is on another level. We get it. 
So there was a period of time in my life where I was not interested in marriage. Okay. Right. Absolute ma who? And then what changed your perspective? <laughs> oh Jesus. What changed my perspective? What did you do to change your perspective? How did you know that there was It a wasn't because I saw I saw I it wasn't because I saw good marriages. Okay. No. It was because I got to a place in my life where I stopped saying yes to what I wanted and I started saying yes to what God wanted for me. Okay. That answers that that kills the whole. You see? So it was at that point where I was like, fine, God, if this is what you say you want for me, then okay, I accept it. I like it. And at first I didn't. At first I was like, I like it because I don't not run. You make somebody else a fool, not me. And then eventually I got to the place where I was like, you know what? God, this is what you this is what you have planned for me. So yeah. And then it was after, after that point in time, that I started to see beautiful marriages. Before that, I couldn't even see them. Okay, so um, but earlier on the show, right? Like in earlier in the season, when we first started, um, I think Kara said something, but I I can't remember. We celebrating something like. You know, we back and da 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 da. And, you know, all last season we talking about this particular thing, and he was like, "Y'all, I get my car. Mm -hmm. I get my car. Mm -hmm. I promise you. Before you got that car, I bet you didn't see cars like your car. No. Wait. But now everywhere I go, Every let's be like, boy. Well, there's plenty cars like my car. You never there. saw. And, and and you know and you know what's crazy about it. When you get that car, you see that car and you see it in different colors. Yep. You see different years. You see different, mm -hmm. thank you, Holy Ghost. You see different models Upgrades, of that car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what is it that we should do when it comes out with filter? Oh my goodness. I think God has to be. God is That's the only my one. stance. Yeah. I understand that, but I'm here's the thing. We're having this show, we're sharing information so that filters could be reset. But we cannot deny even the in fact. the games, the cars, you see the cars. Game you, Grand Theft Auto. We cannot deny the fact that there are some people who whose filters cannot be re reset because of lack of exposure. We have to be real about that. Um, but but you talk about let me pronounce it right naivety. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Stop being naive. Stop being underexposed. We, I mean, in order for them to stop being underexposed, it goes back to where I began in this conversation, which, which is this, and I stuck in with this. I ain't telling you to put all your business out there, but I am, I am making this statement as a single person looking forward to getting married. The good people ain't talking enough, and I'm not asking for all of your business. The good people talking, man. They ain't talking enough. It's not, it's not, it's not loud enough. Just, like, just like how those of us who are living our Christian lives and we are enjoying it and it is a blessing, we ain't talking enough. Because Christianity is still painted out there as this Waste. lifestyle where you can't have fun, where you can't, can't enjoy your life, where you can't do nothing. Can't have long hair. You, like, you can't do nothing. We, that is still being propagated out there, believe it or not. So there's a devil laying in wait. Um, okay. Muslims. Yeah. Um, give, mm -hmm. me, give me some other. I've seen, like, I'm big on certain aspects of social media. Yeah, all too. the stupidness I ain't into that. But when you look at, and, and I'm saying this because I, you know, I'm Christian or what's not. No, I got you. No other belief gets the flat Christianity does. And y'all could disagree on what's not, but when it let's let's the look judgment, at this. Yeah. Let's look at this. When we when we when we talk about mm -hmm. no, when, we, when we talk when we talk about other communities, um, Marisha, if you make a if you make a comment against it, mm -hmm. they ain't know you from a can of paint. You probably never been to church in your life. Someone can say you're all Christian. Yep. Let's just be real. But y'all ain't going to Muslim countries to wear all this lip. Y'all Muslim. You understand? And so I feel you, Marisha, when I say we need to be louder. Yeah, in, we need in to be some louder, aspects. man. But there is also, we can't be um, ignorant of the fact that there is an enemy laying in wait to demonize anything having to do with God's principles, Absolutely. standards. Walking to and fro. Exactly. Absolutely. Seeking whom we may devour. Yes. But greater is he doesn't mean as he, then he doesn't in the world. Greater, greater is he. 
Great is he. Because then if that's the case, Revelation lied. Because the book of Revelation says very clearly, and we overcome him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. I mean, but the next body didn't lie either, though. So, seeking whom we, whom we made of our way in the life. My thing is this. Overcoming, overcoming power is released. Or going out there. When we without testify the, armor on. <laughs> you the truth of what God has done in our lives. Yeah. Overcoming power. Honestly, great. Go ahead, speak, and do whatever you got to do. Just make sure you fortify it. Make yeah. sure there are no cracks. Make sure there are no windows and doors open. Satan to grab hold of you. Let's get some comments in because people have been talking plenty. Yeah, Just take what's talking. for you and leave the rest. We are walking around like snapping turtles, man. Once you're sincere and speaking from a place of love, how someone Loose receives camera, it Jesus name. is not your responsibility. I keep trying to like, like, dangle this thing for me, please. Uh, yeah. See if it ain't like. Um, Julianne says, I think sometimes those reactions come because they already know. Or have a gut oh, feeling yeah. too. about what's going on as well. And maybe in denial or just don't want... Wow, it's gone completely now. Just don't want anyone to know. Um, Can we go back to the last comment? I'm sorry. Sorry. I think sometimes those reactions come because they already know or have a gut feeling about what's going on as well. And maybe in denial or just don't want anyone to know. Yeah. And Tandra says, home is the greatest influence and there is a difference between secrecy and privacy. I believe in that. privacy. Um, Jania says, if God ain't tell me post it, post about it, I ain't posting babes. Keep that unnecessary stuff that way. I've been there, done that, and babes, I good. Because we tell the enemy too much simply by posting too much information. Post, post with, with boundaries. boundaries. With boundaries. Matheria says, marriage is beautiful. Atandra says, be careful being around, being happy around unhappy people. It's scary out there, babe. Honestly. Marsha says, maybe we can use more activities in church that are performed by married couples. I definitely agree with mm -hmm. that. I definitely agree with that. Some churches have excellent marriage ministries. Yes. Um, what you look for, you will find. Change your perspective. Jania says, the minute you post about relationships, everyone has a story and they will go out of their way to impose on your spouse. Then I'll be like Juanita Bynum and don't know when I get on top of that car busting someone <laughs> with my saved self. Oh, please tell. And Tandra said, I was raised in an abusive and extremely to toxic marital household. And that made me want different for myself and my mm. children. I will not repeat the cycles. Our lives are our responsibility and we can't blame people for their own decisions. Make a decision to be different. Kizzy Hanna says, yes. Visna says, Marisha, yes. Be vulnerable. Everyone deserves experiences for companionship. Glad you change your perspective. Um, Frank Kell says, I agree. I'd be wanting to see more examples because plenty of discouragements out here. Jania says, there are days I still can't believe I'm married. <laughs> what? Married for what? But God say, God said it, so I did it. At one point, my husband used to say, I waiting on you to know he was my wife. Because wow. y'all, for two years strong, I was in a big fight with that. I was afraid bad about marriage. Hey, Dr. Melissa. Doc, woo, this conversation oh, is God. so good. <clears throat> and Tandra said, can't be long and I ignorant. <laughs> Jania says, Marisha, I don't care how beautiful the marriages looks. They have struggles too. They disguise well because they don't overshare. I'm not saying that they don't have struggles. Everything of in course. life, there's a struggle. Um, it, sometimes making the show happen is be a struggle. We don't share the struggle of making, of, of everything. But my thing is this, and, and I believe this. I believe that as Christians... A part of our makeup or instruction, let me not say makeup, a part of our instruction given to us by Jesus Christ to make disciples means that we have to be on display. Let's just be real. There's an element of our lives that has to be on display 
People should be attracted to the kingdom of God because of what they see in our lives. And I feel like there's not enough of us in the kingdom, and I'm not just talking about in the Bahamas, I'm talking about worldwide. There's not enough of us in the kingdom ensuring that the message about this Christian walk, not even just about marriage, godly marriage, that this Christian walk is a beautiful thing. And that's, that's where I stand. I stand on the premise that I will forever put it out there that I live my best life as a God-fearing woman. I will forever put out there, like, boy, there's no better life than this. And I want y'all to know when I get married, everybody gonna know. How about you, Yuan? I, Everyone's gonna know. I, I just want to say, because um, it's easy to get mixed up when you say there's an element of our lives that should be on display. Mm -hmm. um, on display and for show is two different things. Absolutely. 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 We're not talking about pride. Mm -hmm. We're talking about discipleship. It's on display whether or not you, once you name the name of Jesus, right? Um, or once you, you stand firm in your faith and you publicly be like, this is who I am in Christ, mm -hmm. you on display. Regard. So just make sure um, that mm -hmm. whatever it is is being seen is mm -hmm. what needs to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Felicia said, that's why I enjoy in my single season. <laughs> I happy too. I hear you, Felicia. Um, and Tandra says, be led by the Holy Spirit. We'll answer it all. Anku Sarah says, great conversation. Thank hey, you, uncle. sir. Felicia, four years celibate. Now, Felicia. 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 <laughs> Felicia. Celibate. Okay, I know where she's going. Felicia. Take that word, ma'am. Abstinent. Out of your vocabulary if you are seeking marriage. Mm -hmm. Google the definition of celibacy, ma'am. Maybe she won't be a nun. No, she don't. Okay, well, you abstinent, honey. Maybe she want to be a nun. <laughs> she don't want to be no nun. And she can't be a monk because she's a woman. Felicia, celibacy nun. means that you're not only just abstaining from sex, it means that you're also abstaining from, from marriage. marriage. Mm -hmm. That's a term that we use, and it's, it's not the right term. Abstinence is the term that you want to use, not celibacy. And Tantra says, be led by the Holy Spirit. I believe we are teaching the principles of marriage or singlehood correctly, hence the overflow of, oh, incorrectly, mm -hmm. hence the overflow of dysfunctional marriages and single people. Agreed. Um, marriages last long because a lot oh are not marriages are not marriages last, long. marriages last long because a lot of couples push past the point of quote unquote irreconcilable differences just trusting God has a plan for their relationship and their lives that's really good um, no Felicia no you not no no ma'am no you want no none stop it no you no ma'am. You no none. No ma'am. Mm -hmm. You are abstaining. You are not celibate. Let's make it clear because life and death is in the power of your tongue, boo. And you around here calling yourself celibate and you could find yourself in the grave single. So be careful what you say. Be very, very careful. So I love the way that this conversation came to an end because... Um, I, 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 I really did not know how we were going to come to a close about this polyamorous. <laughs> poly, 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 poly. Hashtag poly, poly. I really did not know how we were going to come to, um, you know, a, a, a close about this. Julie, you got to tell me where you made your comment because your comment is, is long and I can't see the whole thing. So if you could let me know where exactly you made your comment, I'll go on the page and read the, the entire thing. Um, but I was very concerned about, okay, I found it, I found it. Um, no, I just want to see the comment. Okay, here we go. Um, I think when we suffer in silence or thrive in silence, we rob God of getting glory. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. If you aren't sharing, not saying, putting all your business on display, how are you going to overcome? Also, we rob people that need to hear what we go through to pull them out. It's like the sexual abuse or assault, con or mm -hmm. assault conversation. If you enter a room, nobody is going to talk about it. However, if one person brings it up, 
more than likely eight to 10 have experienced some form. Absolutely, Julie, absolutely. That's an excellent point. And Tandra says, marriage was instituted to make male and female like Christ. So non-Christians shouldn't even be getting married. Ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> we need to have that conversation. It's not like you just gave us another show topic. And, yeah, Tandra, yeah. and we appreciate you for that. Because I agree with you. That one can't go like that. I agree with you, Andandra. Because mm. like we said I earlier. That conversation. Like we said earlier, um, and like Joyne said it, it's holy matrimony. It's a sac it's sacred. It's a sacrament, actually. Uh Visna says, beautiful conversation, ladies. Stephanie says, I really enjoyed this session. Yeah. Jania says, proud of any marriage that goes through any kind of fire and withstand. I love that so much. And Tandra say, that's beautiful, Julianne. <laughs> <laughs> hey, again, good evening, good evening. Listen, this show was really good. And um, coming to the close, I don't know, ladies, what y'all want to say as we come to this close? Because we, we brought it around to the core of what we should be like looking forward to um, in terms of relationships. So what do y'all want to say in closing? Oh, that's a good one. I'm still waiting for someone to tell me where God say share. I ain't talking about <laughs> Hebrews 13 and 16. Jesus, be right? offense. Do not forget to do good and share with others for with such sacrifices God is pleased. I ain't talking about. I don't think God pleased with that. Sing them. I ain't talking about Lala. Yeah. I think in this instance, God okay and, with me being selfish. And Dodo. Selfish. Lala and Dodo. Yeah. <laughs> you dumb. <laughs> my my mommy and me, Polly. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, Amorous. I done. I Done. So, God bless you all with that. What? That's what? That, that's how you end it? That's how I can end. Jesus. Joy Day would have played me like that. Joy Day, what do you have to say? We got two minutes before we die. Um, <laughs> I, I really. You run on a car. Car, car. You really, you really, you really got me at that. Um, God did not say share in that kind of way. Um, I think as women, we should really reconsider our standards. Mm. We should really um, consider, although it will be a fight because there are a lot of persons that will fight up against it. If you have to raise your standard and stick by that, do that. Mm, Just good. as Marisha talked about, um, you know, we want to see more godly marriages on mm -hmm. display. We want to mm -hmm. see more strong women who have high standards for themselves and That's who, good. who maintain those standards for themselves. We want to see more persons like that. That's and good. that will eventually rub off yes. on or influence everyone else or influence the women around us. Listen, you do not have to settle. You do not have to make um, compromises that go against what you believe and, and what you were taught or the foundation that God has built you on. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that if you seek the Lord concerning your spouse, no matter what it is, no matter what you may go through, a lot of persons are in difficult situations because we, quote, unquote, or everyone else, quote, unquote, picks needle without eye. And when we look in the natural and when we just go based on how well, how well we can be pleased um, in the bedroom or how well um, this man can take care of me with his million dollars or multi-millionaire man and don't consider the core of who we are and how we need to be looked at, then and only then we'll understand the true essence of what holy matrimony is about. And um, I also, sorry, I, I long, sorry, two minutes. You and, know, you're good. You're and good. I, I, I do believe that as a result of this conversation, let's do some more research. Let's find out a lot more information about what it is. Just, just as we research and look for the, the trending things on TikTok and the hours that we spend on Shein and Fashion Over and all these other things just Are to research. Screaming? I'm just saying, right? Just um, scrolling, uh, scrolling uh, through. I want you to take that same time and research some things about yourself, how to be more feminine, how to please your husband, and how to, or what does the Bible say about pleasing your husband, how to properly submit. 
Likewise, husband, do do your research on your wife. Find find out, um, or the person that you plan to marry, find out certain things that um would be a line drawn that won't work for your spouse, that won't work for the other partner. Find out these things so that we don't go into these things blind. The mm -hmm. reason that we are failing or the divorce rate has become so high is because like i mentioned earlier we're mm -hmm. only going into marriage and we're making these covenants based on flesh mm -hmm. you only want to be satisfied and when that flesh is so called satisfied and you come down off of that honeymoon phase you need a foundation of um or, or what your marriage is built on and if it's only built on sex it will not last good stuff the bible says that a wise man builds his house God help me, help me remember the scripture. You don't build, only fools build on the sand, but a wise man would build on a rock. On, on a rock. You have to build on a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. If you're found on the rock, mm -hmm. if you if you if you build on 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 what it looks like sand. to people, if yeah. you build on mm -hmm. the facade, if you build Things on sex, away. if you build on money, then yeah, it will unsaving. not last. Yeah. And you cannot expect for there to be many marriages that look good if you are if you are picking based on your own flesh satisfaction. So my reply to you today is be intentional about what it is that you want. Be intentional about sticking to it. Be intentional about your research and be intentional about seeking God and choosing your spouse. That's it. I like this comment that was left here. So what is our take on Isaiah 41 verse 1? I'm going to read from a different translation than what you posted um, because I feel like it makes it a little bit more clear. Um, the New Living Translation says um, in verse 1 of Isaiah chapter 4, In that day so few men will be left, that seven women will fight for each man, saying, Let us all marry you. We will provide our own food and that's clothing. A whole new, that's, a whole, that's a whole new can of worms. No, it ain't. I promise you. Let us marry you. We will provide our own food and clothing. Only let us take your name so we won't be mocked as old maids. And I love the way that this particular verse was structured in comparison to the remaining verses because the remaining verses completely answer mm -hmm. this question. And I like the word that it starts with because the word cancels out. The first word in verse two cancels out verse one. It says in that day, this is what's gonna happen. But verse two says, but in that day, the branch of the Lord will be beautiful and glorious. The fruit of the land will be pride and glory of all who survive in Israel, all who remain in Zion, who remain in the safety of God, who remain in the presence of God, will be a holy people. Those who survive the destruction of Jerusalem who and who survive and are recorded among the living, the Lord will wash the filth wow. from beautiful Zion and cleanse Jerusalem of its blood stains with the hot breath of fiery judgment. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord will provide shade. If I was preaching this, I would touch, say, touch your neighbor and say shade. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord will provide now. shade for Mount Zion and all who assemble there. He will provide, somebody say, a canopy. Hey. A canopy yes. of a cloud during the day and a smoke and a flaming fire at night covering the glorious land it will be a shelter from the daytime heat and a hiding place yes. from the storms and rain listen to me this is not the first time i encountered the scripture i debated the scripture when i was in bible college because this was a hot topic wow. one day when we was in my 300 level theology class and i remember going at it because you know for those of you who have ever been in heated conversations about Christianity, people has come hard. Yep. And yep. so my thing was, listen, in that day, that's what's going to be happening in the world. But I don't live in the world. I live in Goshen, buddy. Mm -hmm. Don't mix me up. Don't, don't, don't forget that as believers, we in this world, but we are not of this world. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that when heaven and earth pass away god's word remains mm -hmm. and if i have gotten a word from god directly from god that says very clearly that this is what he has for me absolutely nothing else can oppose that word but me mm -hmm. 
but me. And that is where I would like to end this conversation, which is this. To the woman who is sitting in a relationship with multiple partners, you are there because you are allowing that. You are there because you, in some way, shape, or form, you have said yes to that. That is not the Lord's will for your life. And just because it's one of the signs of the times, it doesn't mean that it has to be your portion. Mm -hmm. I don't care what's happening in the world. I in it. I'm not of it. So all of y'all who out there talking about how the pool got rotten fish in it and the pool is sewage and the, the dating pool is this and the dating pool is that, you will eat the fruit of your words. Mm. So you have to share because ain't enough man out there. You will eat the fruit of your words. If God have to fly my husband from Timbuktu, Zimbabwe, Australia, you. New Zealand, or Antarctica, there's going to come a day when you see or hear Marisha get married. <laughs> you need him to come from to die, No, and I mean, it's according to what you believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's according to what you believe, and it's according to what you say yes to. So I'm talking to my sisters out there who you are agreeing. If, if, even if you are silent, silent, what did it say? They say, say con consent. yeah, yeah, you're giving, you're giving consent. Stop it. No, stop. Demand that is you and only you. And if they can't meet that demand, then you need to walk away. I'm sorry. You need to believe that what God has for you is for you. That's it and that's all. I Listen to me. I don't participate in those kind of conversations. I don't care. I don't care. Listen to me. I don't care what your view is. I don't care what your perspective is. Every day I declare. Mm, I never want to put all my business out there. We just want to talk about that. Um, <laughs> display, <laughs> display. <laughs> Unnecessary warfare. Every day. I declare, I say it every day, Father, I thank you that my husband is seeking me out. That the marriage that you have for me is going to come to pass. That I am a wife. And I am a godly wife. That is something that I declare every day. I have an alarm that goes off on my phone. And when that alarm goes off, I begin praying for my husband. And I say, God, I thank you that he's going to be faithful to me. God, I thank you that I will Only be faithful to, to him. Yeah. I thank you, God, that our hearts will be toward you and toward one another and our family. God, I thank you that there will be no lack in our household. I thank you that we will not settle for anything less than the best than what you have for us. God, I thank you that we will have no struggle with conception, that we will have no difficulty with infertility. Father, I thank you that we will have houses and land, houses that we did not build, land thank that Jesus. we did not have to toil for. I thank That's you for the businesses that will come out of our marriage. I thank you for the people that will be blessed because of our coming together. God, I thank you that divorce and generational curses of separation will be broken in my bloodline because of my marriage. I thank you that my children will be exposed to wealth because of what they see in their father and their mother. And I, I, I declare that over my life every day. You shall have whatsoever you say. So, girlfriend, I know walking away is going to be hard. I know setting a standard and saying that you're not going to put up with this thing anymore could change the way you live your life. But what I'm also saying to you is you could suffer and stay there and be stuck, or you could be free and be open to the idea and the truth that God has something better for you. God did say share, but he didn't say share man and wife. That's not what he said to share. He said to make disciples of every nation, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. He tell people to tell people about him, not to share. Um, My husband and I am gospel. 
No. Your husband and your wife, they are first and last. I mean, and if their name, first and last name is gospel, daddy and the one who is talking about. No. That's not the one. That's not the great gospel. No. No, that's not the one he was talking about. So let the record reflect that the sharing that we are going to do is of the success and the goodness of God in our lives, whether we are single or married. But what we ain't doing is not, is not. Amen? I'm excited. Excited for? To share next week's topic. Me no, no, topic. no, no, yes, we do. Next week's topic. Y'all ready for this? Hold on. Next week's topic. <laughs> Why is, can't I get so live? So go know. ahead. Go ahead. Know, okay. this, this, yeah. Next week's topic mm -hmm. is I am free. Hashtag the tree is tonic. Because we are free from slavery, free from sin, and free from this studio. I tired In Jesus you. name. I, <laughs> I tired. <laughs> I said one car. Y'all think we could be here on the holiday? I no chance. Remember that swimsuit we was talking about? Go on, get it to it, man. <laughs> Woman of God. Woo! Somebody come get Carl. I, I had to know. do it. I had to do it. I, don't I, don't know. Know. I, love I wasn't even expecting low. that. Like, that one just like. Is, is it the like, tree ass tonic, though? The yeah. tree ass tonic. Yeah. Free from slavery, slavery sin. free from sin, and, and free from the studio. I'm glad you mentioned that. In advance, happy Emancipation Day. Yes. Happy, happy, Guys, happy. Um, be free. Liberty. Shanda da da ba. Be free. Um, oh, we <laughs> we going to put something out there when we coming back. Because after Emancipation Day, some of us going on holiday and we doing things and need to be busy. Thanks. So we going to let you all know um, when we coming back, all right? But thank you so much for tuning into today's show. What what going on? Anyway, I just see how I that mean it's time to go. <laughs> we <laughs> we love you all. It's been a great show. Yeah, deuces. Until next time. Adios. Bye. Bye.